Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we doing out there today? Sunday morning workout. JCC Metro West. Where's Reggie? What happened? What took so long? We were getting worried that you weren't going to be here today. Yes. Had a little slow, sluggish start this morning, which delayed my arrival, and thus the late start. But I'm here. Hope you're ready. <laughs> Hello, Lucy Lou, and Linda, and Marsha, and Janet, and Judy, and Chris. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, Kamari. Hello, Kamari. Did you miss me, Kamari? I'm back. Sunday morning, Sunday morning, Sunday morning. So, today is cardio pump. That means we're doing weights and cardio. Weights and cardio. Three minute segments. Three minute segments on the cardio. I know I'm a bad, bad man. So, since I started late, let's get down to business. Time to make the donuts. Go ahead, stand nice and tall for me. We're tall. Now, quarter punches. Tap it out, punch it out. I'm gonna get right into it with the late start this morning. Right into it with the late start this morning. As always, we're gonna talk about movies and music, and I'll share a nice entertaining story at the end, which has now become the custom with these workouts. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Don't worry, the stories are all PG slash PG-13. No vulgarity. <laughs> go ahead, keep it going. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now give me quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. We're not taking those feet very high off the ground, but we are moving quick. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Come on, come on. So, what will I rant about this morning? In the past, we talked about pedestrians, Jersey drivers, bicyclists, and how they don't follow the rules of the road, people not following social distancing, wearing the mask, or standing too close to each other when they walk. I know, I know. So, not so much of a rant, but just a continuation of people's rude behavior, savages. Keep it going, keep it going. So I went to go pick up some takeout the other day. Yes, I do takeout. From Cuban Pete's, in Montclair. Some of y'all know it, some of y'all love it. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Now give me knee lifts. Walk it, hop it, or jog it out. Go right into the jog if you wish. Cardio pump today. Let's get down to business. So I'm standing in the line. People are monitoring their six feet or more in between the line to go pick up the takeout. And this lady just walks on in, past everybody, into the area where you pick up your takeout. Now, I was supposed to be the next person to go inside to get my takeout. So when she walked in, I followed right behind her. I said, excuse me, ma'am, there's a line. You cut the line. See all those people out there? They're in line. You just cut them. This was her response. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now, go back to punches, uppercuts. Go back to punches, uppercuts. Now, mind you, she is still, oh, not still, she's talking to somebody on the phone when she cut the line. She saw the line. She just thought because she was on the phone, no one would say anything to her. But I did. So, now I told her that she cut the line. All those people that she just walked past are in line. 
her response was, I was here yesterday, and so I'm going to get the stuff I didn't get yesterday. I don't care. You cut the line. There's a line. Well, it's cold outside, and I'm cold. I'm not going to stand out there. Once again, what you did was wrong. You're being rude. You cut the line. So while she's talking to her, she's talking to him on the phone, and there was a guy. He's like, who's that talking to you? Some guy telling me I would cut the line and everything. I'm not paying any attention. So, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now tap it out or full jack. So, she then not only cut the line, but then she tried to get in front of the people who were already inside, picking up their takeout, and stabbing their fingers. Hey, 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 I need some help. The guy handing out the food said to her, you have to wait. So then, <clears throat> he brings me my food. He's my food. I said, thank you. And I left. Next thing I know, as I'm walking out to my car, I hear that same woman coming out screaming, yeah, I'm tired of this place anyway. Every time I come here, there's issues, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, she still came back. <laughs> so the guy handed the food, said something to her. She turned around to get smart. Next thing I know, the cops are called. So all I will say is, if you go out, follow those rules. Because someone like me, or it might even be me, will tell you you're being wrong. And if you don't correct your behavior, they will call the cops on you. Savages. <laughs> Rant is over. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. No more ranting. No more ranting. Let's get down to business. Hello, everybody. Get your weight. Just one. One of your heaviest dumbbells. Just one of your heaviest dumbbells. Legs are wide. Put one leg in front. That foot is flat. Back heel is up. Toe down, back heel up. Bow, don't squat. Bow down, stretch, long arms. Swing, up and down. Arms stay long. Pivot, 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 pivot. Arms stay long. Do not bend the arms. Swing. Give me an arc from the bottom corner to the upper corner. Bottom corner, upper corner. Come on, come on. Now, movies, movies. Today's topic, non-Hollywood movies. Non-Hollywood movies that I have seen among my favorite movies over the years. Not any particular order. No particular order. I'm watching clock, don't worry. Come on. 20 seconds, go. 20 seconds. First, Ghost in the Shell. Animated movie. Ghost in the Shell. The animated movie, the original. Not the one with Scarlett Johansson. Ghost in the Shell, animated movie. Check it out. It's a good one. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now two dumbbells. Two dumbbells. Upright row. Four count. Go. One, two, three, four. Next, non-Hollywood movies. Non-Hollywood movies. The movie Babel. The movie Babel. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Next on the list, The Man From Nowhere. The Man From Nowhere. Next on the list, Snatch. Snatch. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Next on the list, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Happy, happy, joy, joy. I'm watching that clock, don't worry. We're not done with this. I still need 30 seconds, come on. Next on the list, 
21 grams. Next on the list, 21 grams. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Don't quit, come on. Don't quit, come on. Count it down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Now, other side, single dumbbell. Other side for the twisting. Single dumbbell. Other side for the twisting. Stagger. Front foot flat. Back heel up. Long arms. Fold. Now, here we go. Swing. Up. Down. Swing. Swing. Up. Down. Swing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Next, Leon, the professional. But Reggie, you've mentioned this movie before. Yes, I know. But this is the category given to me by someone else. So some movies you've heard me mention before. Others will be brand spanking new, baby. Come on. Next, City of God. City of God. Check it out. Next on the list. Let the right one in. That's for you, Chris. Since you love horror like myself, let the right one in. For you, Chris. Next. Run, Lola, run. Run, 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 little Lola. Run. Keep going. Next on the list. The sea inside the sea inside javier bodim javier bodim i need the american movie the hollywood movie he was a bad guy in early 2000s javier bodim what's the movie he's the bad guy early 2000s don't mention the james bond movie i'm not looking for james bond so don't go there 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cinema Paradiso, Paradiso, Cinema Paradiso. Next, two dumbbells, chest, two dumbbells, chest. Let's knock it out. From here, I want straight out and then straight up. No legs. Clock is ticking. Go. Out. Straight up. No angle. Straight out. Straight up. No angle. Straight out. Straight up. Come on. Straight out. Straight up. Come on. Straight out. Straight up. Next on the list. Diabolique. The original. Black and white. Not the remake from the 90s. Diabolique. Next, The Vanishing, the original, not the remake, with Jeff Bridges from the 90s. The remake, no, the original, yes, The Vanishing. I'm watching clock, don't worry. What's she saying? I see her, keep going. Next on the list, Seven Samurai. But Reggie, you always talk about the Seven Samurai. Yes, no seven samurai, no magnificent seven. So there, take it. Seven samurai. La N. Another French movie. Why all the French movies, Reggie? You're not French, you're not Canadian, you're not Haitian. No, but I love French cinema. La N, H-A-I-N-E. La N, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one more. Finish it. And curse me out. Now, cardio time. Three minutes, three minutes. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Single knee, single kick. Alternate, go. Hop or jump. Come on. Knee, kick, knee, kick. Three minutes, three minutes. Let me see the clock, got it. Three minutes, come on, come on, come on. Don't worry, we're not doing this same thing for all three minutes. 
This will just be for one minute. And then we'll switch it up. Three minutes. But Reggie, why are you changing things on us? We just got used to the other way you did things. I know. So keep your toes, people. Come on. Halfway through May. Halfway through May. Sun is shining. Birds are singing. Squirrels and chipmunks are frolicking in the grass. Come on. Come on. Children of heaven. Children of heaven. Happy, happy. Joy, joy. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, lateral movement. Squat touch. Lateral movement. Squat touch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Next movie. Manon. M-A-N-O-N. Manon. Another French movie of the spring. And the predecessor to Manon of the spring, Jean de Florette. Featuring Gerard Depardieu. Give me three Hollywood films starring Gerard Depardieu. Anybody? I just won three. I just won three. Come on. Keep it going. Next on the movie list, Ip Man. Reggie again with Ip Man. One of the best martial art movies ever. Starring Donnie Chin playing Ip Man, Bruce Lee's teacher and mentor. Happy, happy, joy, joy. No Ip Man, no Bruce Lee. No Bruce Lee, no Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and the likes. I know. Next on the list. Next on the list. Amelie. Amelie. We mentioned her before. She's back again. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Ham curls, walk or hop, or jog it. One minute, come on. Next, Hero, featuring Jet Li. Hero, Jet Li. Next on the list, Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle on the list. Come on. I know you're getting tired. Next on the list, death at a funeral. Death at a funeral. Not the one with Chris Rock, the original. No Chris Rock, the original. Come on, come on. Next, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Some of you have been waiting for that, haven't you? Now you got it. Monty Python. And the Holy Grail. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I never saw it, but I know some of you love it. So honorable mention to my Monty Python and the life of Brian. Never saw life of Brian, so I can't comment on it. So it's not on my list. Honorable mention. Dumbbells. Legs, lunges, alternate, or lateral squat. Clock is ticking. Go. 90 seconds for this. 90 seconds for this. Alternate. Alternate lunges or squats. Back to my list. V for Vendetta. V for Vendetta. Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Happy, happy, Joey, Joey. If you have not seen V for Vendetta, watch it. Well worth your time. Next on the list, last movie, Children of Men. Children of Men. Now I know I not mentioned movies such as Love Actually. I had not put a lot of romantic comedies on this 
because that's your go-to. I know you, JCC, Montclairians. I know you. So you can type in your favorite romantic comedies, such as Love Actually, or whatever the movie I missed that was not on my list of movies I've seen that I have enjoyed over the years, not produced in Hollywood. Oh, I forgot one. No! Ron, R-E-N, Ron. Last one, I promise. Ron, forgot that one. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Now, another chest exercise, go back to chest. This time, serving trays. Clock is ticking, go. Now for the music. Now for the music. Yay, Reggie. We've been waiting for the music. I know. Today, piano playing singer songwriters. Piano playing singer songwriters. My top three. My top three. All the names, no particular order. For me, Ray Charles, then Stevie Wonder comes next. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And then third spot will be taken up by John Legend with Prince very close on his heels. But Reggie, Prince is a guitarist. Prince played several instruments. His forte was the guitar, of course. We all know him for his guitar riffs. But he was also a pianist and composed many songs on the piano. I know. Too much information, Reggie. We can't work out and have all this knowledge pouring from our brains. How do you do it? What drugs are you taking? None. Even didn't have time to get my coffee this morning, people. No coffee, nothing. This is pure raw Reggie. <laughs> 10 seconds, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know if I like Raw Reggie. Raw Reggie scares me. <laughs> Shake it out. Wipe off the sweat. I know. Bad man. Now, from here. Combination, give me bicep curl, overhead press. Give me bicep curl, overhead press. Don't be shy, challenge yourself. Arr. So, my type three, hammer curl, military press. 90 seconds, go. Top three, Ray Charles, Stevie, John Legend. Prince is right on John Legend's heels. Next, for my piano playing singer songwriters. Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight. Who can name three Brian McKnight songs? Go, Lucy, go! <laughs> Who can name three Brian McKnight songs? Who in the hell is Brian McKnight, Reggie? I know, I know. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Next on the list. Piano playing, singer-songwriters. Sean Stockman. Oh, another one. You have no idea who that is. Okay, Lucy, you're up. Who is Sean Stockman, Lucy? And once you figure out who Sean Stockman is, tell me what boy group he sang with. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And I'll give you a hint. He sang the theme song for Mr. Holland's Opus. Not Rowena's theme. That's not a theme song. I need the theme song. That's your hint for Mr. Holland's Opus. Come on, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next, piano playing singer songwriters, Bruno Mars. Yes, he composes a lot of his songs sitting at the piano. Bruno Mars, didn't know that. Anyone, give me five, five Bruno Mars songs. But you only said three. I only said three for Brian McKnight. I know. Cardio time! Now, imaginary rope. Tap it. Tap it. 
Otherwise, jump. You got three minutes. Go. Imaginary rope. You got three minutes. Go. Next on the list. Elton John. Elton John. Can't leave off Reginald. We have the same first name. Sir Reginald. Not Sir Elton. <laughs> Keep it going. Reggie, we want you to drink coffee next time. We can't deal with you right now. You're driving me crazy. All I want to do now is punch you in those deep dimples. <laughs> yes, punch away. Use all your anger. Come on, come on, come on. Elton John, happy, happy, joy, joy. Next on the list, Billy Joel. Why'd you say it like that, Reggie? Billy Joel. Because even though Billy's good, he's not on my list of favorite singer-songwriters to play a piano. But Reggie, Billy is awesome. Don't forget Elton John, Billy Joel. They tour together. Amazing. Yes, I'm not knocking his skill. I'm saying he's not on my list. My list. He can be on your list. Come on. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now give me suicides. Suicides. Or if you're my age or older, maybe you call these washboards. Washboards in gym class. Give me washboards slash suicides. Or burpee push up optional. Oh yeah, baby. Burpee push up optional. Come on. Come on. Come on, curse me now, thank me, never. Next on the list, Fast Domino, Fast Domino, Fast Domino. Next on the list, Little Richard, Little Richard, Little Richard. Next on the list, Jerry Lee Lewis. I did like Jerry, Jerry's on my list. I know, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And honorable mention goes out to none other than Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. Honorable mention. Liberace, baby. Can't leave off Liberace. He's on the list. Urgh. Come on. Don't quit. Don't quit. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe. Wipe off the sweat. Take a sip. Trivia, trivia. I need the two separate R&B groups who remade Stevie Wonder's song lately Stevie Wonder's song A Ribbon in the Sky two separate groups remade those songs in the 1990s Stevie Wonder now back to weights back to legs combination combination deadlift row tall combination deadlift Row tall. Trivia. Who is John Legend married to? Trivia. Who is John Legend married to? Trivia. What candy commercial is she affiliated with? What candy commercial is John Legend's wife affiliated with? Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't quit. This will be for two minutes. Longer than normal. We got deadlift, folded row, come on, or a tabletop row, come on. I know. Question, just for fun. What are your favorite Stevie Wonder songs? Mine are Lately, A Ribbon in the Sky, As Master Blaster, Jammin', 
Happy, happy, joy, joy. Those are my favorites. Hard to pick it or will it down to just five. He has so many amazing songs. But those would be my top five. Jamming, Master Blaster, as we've been in the sky lately. I know. Too many questions, Reggie. We don't like it. We can't think and exercise at the same time. I know. You figured out yet, Lucy Lou? Who is Sean Stockman, Lucy Lou? What boy group? He also wrote the song, theme song for Mr. Holland's Opus, song title, Visions of a Sunset, Visions of a Sunset. So check it out when class is over. I know. Two more, two more. That's a long two minutes, Reggie. Yes, but I was talking. I got distracted and relax. Put that down. Check it out. Put that down. Check it out. All right, Bob the Sweat, take a sip. Now, from here, shoulders, shoulders. Now, this will be a combination for shoulders and tricep. Choose wisely. Palms are up. Bring the weights all the way up over the top of your head. Bend down behind the head. Extend back up. Come back down with your palms facing forward. You can do one arm at a time if you have to. Clock is ticking. Two minutes. Go. Come on. What is wrong with you, Reggie? You didn't have coffee. So you say. <laughs> it's true, I didn't have coffee. But yet we're doing crazier things than when you have coffee. That's true. Maybe coffee actually slows me down, if you want to believe that for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not the evil laugh. It's not evil, it's mischievous. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> My normal laugh is just mischievous. I know. I know. Come on. Come on. But why, Reggie? Why are things more difficult when you don't drink coffee? Well, perhaps this has something to do with it. I always go on for a few weeks or months and then off and cycle it, what I'm referring to is the blood type diet. According to the blood type diet, I should not drink coffee or dark teas of any kind. Only green tea, according to the blood type diet. So even though I do get the initial burst in the morning, especially since I do the fasting with the coffee, I do think it tends to Restrain my natural abilities. <laughs> That's so once again mischievous. And I'm watching the clock. Don't worry. But our arms are going to fall off, Reggie. I know. I know. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. You're almost there. Ten more seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now, back to cardio again. What's wrong with you? You're evil. Back to cardio. Now, give me wide legs. Walk, walk, hop, hop, or run through tires. Come on, one minute. Come on. Now, some food stuff some food stuff as you know why am i stopping don't stop as you know dark chocolate is a healthy healthy street dark chocolate has naturally occurring caffeine and polyphenols oh yeah polyphenols good for heart health also some antioxidant properties as well 
So, just take a ballpark guess. Not looking for exact numbers. I'll give you 10 calories high or low. You can go 10 calories high or low. Only 10. Who knows how many calories are in a regular size Hershey's Special Dark Bar. Regular size. The whole bar. Not a little snippet. The whole bar. How many calories? Hershey's Special Dark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to doing kicks. Give me a front kick. Give me a circle kick. Give me a punch. So we, here we go. Front, circle, punch. Front, circle, punch. Open your leg. Open your leg if you want. How many calories? Hershey, special dark, regular size. Next question. Two, not next question. First information, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of popcorn kernels will yield you between four and five cups of popcorn. Two tablespoons of popcorn kernels will yield you between four and five cups of popped popcorn. How many calories on average in that serving size? That's your serving size of popcorn. Two tablespoons unpopped. Four to five popped. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Change sides. Go. Other side. Go. Other side. Go. Other side. Go. I know. I know. Speaking of polyphenols, happy, happy, joy, joy. What fruits are good for the heart? What fruits are good for the heart? I'm asking you to write in the answer. Happy, happy, joy, joy. What fruits are good for the heart? We know that olive oil and fatty fishes are good for the heart. What fruits are good for the heart? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you're getting tired. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't quit. We're Reggie. We're getting tired. I know. I am too. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Mountain climbers, no! Yes, come on. Rest on your hands or your elbows. Let's go, one minute. I know, you thought I was almost done. No, we got more to do. We got more to do. 450 calories in popcorn, Melody? Are you on crack? No, Reggie, crack was in the 80s. This is 2020. <laughs> yes, that is forever burned in my head. Whenever someone says something silly or crazy. Are you on crack? That was just what I brought with me from the 80s and 90s. Come on, come on. Come on. I know. So the answer is not 450 calories. Way too many calories for air pop popcorn or on the stove in the pot popcorn. No, that's too many calories. Too many calories. Come on. Come on. Unless that was for the candy bar. Still wrong. Too many calories for the candy bar too. So 450 is not the answer for the candy bar or the popcorn. Come on. Come on. 20 seconds. Don't quit. 20 seconds. Don't quit. Come on. Come on. I know. I know. Urgh, dig deep. Urgh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know. Come on. Come on. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wipe off the sweat. 
Take a sip. Cardio. No, wait. One more for the back. One more for the back first. Back weight, one more time. Back weight, one more time. We just stopped through the cardio segment. Back weight, back weight. Fold over. See, that's probably from not having the coffee. For some reason, I thought we were doing some of the sides of the cardio. Single, reverse fly. Single, reverse fly. Double. Here we go. Keep your backs flat. Clock is ticking. Knock it out. If you wish, do the double the whole time. If you wish, do the double the whole time. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Single, single, double. 90 seconds. Single, single, double. Come on. Come on. Or do the double the whole way. 90 seconds worth. Come on. Come on. I know. All this crazy stuff. Also, trivia. Lucy Lou, we're calling you out because I know you love cookies and muffins. How many calories? How many calories in a Dunkin' Donuts muffin? They're larger than most muffins you would make at home, but you buy them from Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks and the like. So calories in a Dunkin' Donuts muffin. Come on, who's got the answer? That's the pop quiz. I'm not gonna tell you the answer. Remember, you got a 10 calorie leeway up or down. But only 10 calories. I'm watching the clock, come on. We're not done yet, we got 20 seconds. But Reggie, I can't do anymore. Reggie, this is killing me. I know, I know. Fight, 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 fight. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more, and relax. Put that down for a moment. Stand tall, twist it out. Now, one more with weights. Combination, get two dumbbells. Go as heavy as you can. Two dumbbells. Hold the dumbbells like so. Feet are wide. Bow, do not squat. Bow, tall, swing those dumbbells through your legs. Bow to the ground. Stop your arms parallel to the floor. Stop your arms parallel to the floor. If you are hitting your thighs with those dumbbells, alternate, cross left wrist over right wrist when you swing through the thighs and then change it back and do right wrist over left wrist. We're doing a kettlebell swing with dumbbells. Kettlebell swing with dumbbells. Come on, come on. I know. Don't quit. Don't quit. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Fight. This is the last thing we got. We close out with cardio and the true story. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. 20 seconds. Do it. Do it. Don't stop on me. Come on now. Come on, Lucy. Stay with me, Lucy. Kamari. Stay with me, Kamari. Come on. Come on. Come on. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. I know. Wipe off the sweat. Take a sip if you have to. We close out the song, song. <laughs> we close out the class, not with a song, but with a story, true story. So the cardio will go for the duration of the story. It won't be a long story, but don't stop. I may stop to act out some of the parts. You don't stop. 
Here we go. Last thing, I promise. Knock it out. First, river dance, baby. I know you'll hate this, Kamari. Come on, Kamari. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Slow as you want, fast as you want. So, before I moved out to New Jersey, I lived in my college town of Carbondale, Illinois. After I graduated for a couple of years. One year, I worked as a bouncer. Yeah, baby, I was a muscle. Urgh, you messed up. Urgh. Guess who took care of business? <laughs> no, Reggie, you're too nice. You want a bouncer, were you? <laughs> yes, I was. Now, change it up. Kicks, low roundhouse, high roundhouse. Punch, go. So, that's not true. Three years. One year bouncer, two years, I worked for the Gateway Foundation. Not the Gateway Computer Company. That was a foundation that had different centers in the Midwest, a couple in Texas, a couple in Florida, where they did either residential or day treatment for teens with drug and alcohol addictions. I know what you're thinking, keep going. I wasn't a counselor there. I worked in the maintenance department. So I had to make sure all inspections are done, when they would break windows or doors to repair those, and other daily maintenance activities. That's what I did. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, step tap. I don't make you jump. Skip, skip to my loo, or skate. Christy Yamaguchi, Nancy Kerrigan, Tanya Harding. Come on, over, hop, hop, keep going. So, I worked there for two years. During the second year, there was the supervisor for the maintenance department, retired army guy, wife, six, seven kids, can't remember the exact number, but retired from the military. Nice guy, I liked him a lot. We got along fine, no issues but he was very, very tiny. Not a little person, but almost. <laughs> and he had a handlebar mustache, had little curls. All he was missing was a monocle and a top hat and cane. <laughs> Tim, what's his name? So, me and Tim got along fine. Now, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tim, like I said, was retired military. So very structured, always on time, straightforward, no BS. We staggered our work day. I would come in at eight o'clock in the morning and work until four. He would come in at nine and work till five. So, one morning, I'm out in the work shed, varnishing some newly purchased doors. All doors had to be fireproof at this facility because it was residential. So I'm varnishing these fireproof doors, waiting for Tim to arrive. I'm watching clock, don't worry, come on, come on. 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, from here, tap the toes or prance like pretty little ponies, speed back. Now, I get to work, I'm out in the tool shed, varnishing some doors, nine o'clock rolls by. No Tim. 
9.15, no Tim. 9.30, no Tim. Now I'm getting worried. Very punctual, never any issues with him. Ex-military, I'm concerned. He's never been late, let alone half hour late. So I take my walkie talkie and I radio the main office. Oh, excuse me, anybody heard from Tim? No, why, what's wrong, Reggie? He hasn't come in yet. He hasn't called in, his wife hasn't called in for him. No? Okay, thank you. Keep going. Now it's 9.45. Now it's 10 o'clock. I'm very worried. Still no Tim. About 10.15, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, from here, no moving. Plant those feet. Corner, corner, uppercut, uppercut. Go as fast as you can. About 10.15, I hear his pickup pull into the property. It was a large property. We had two baseball diamonds, enough space to have another little small football field. Not marked, of course, just large property. I hear his pickup truck pull onto the property. So now I know something's going on because no one called. But now it's 10.15, he's just not rolling up. Hour plus late. I finish the last door I was working on. I go out of the garage, the tool shed, close the door, start walking toward where he parked his truck. Come on, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to legs, single back kicks. Single back kicks, go. Look over your shoulder as you kick. Tim staggers out of his truck like so. Not like he's hungover, but something's not right. He now is walking like this toward me. And I notice as he gets closer that he has blood on his shirt and blood on his arms. Something's definitely not right. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're good. Not getting too gray. Just give me the details. <laughs> Where is this going, Reggie? I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, stay tall and go back to Jack's or give me dancing crab. Go, dancing crab. So, as he's getting closer and closer, I'm seeing more blood on his shirt and arms. He finally gets to me and I say, what in the hell happened to you? He's like, Reggie, you won't believe this. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't believe what you're about to tell me because you look horrible. Like someone ran you over with a freaking steamroller. <laughs> Keep it going. Still jacks. So, as Tim was coming into work, someone 15 minutes or so ahead of him on the same road hit a deer. They took out the deer's hind quarters. So, when he approaches the deer, the deer is trying to drag itself out of the road with his front legs. Everybody, tall. Everybody, tall. Side kicks. Side kicks. Hop if you want. Go. Everybody, tall. Side kicks. Hop if you want. So, he pulls his truck off to the side of the road because he wants to put the deer out of his misery. Now, back in Illinois, other parts of the country, people do ride around with their rifles or shotguns in their pickup trucks. So I figured he had his gun. I was going to mercifully put the deer out of his misery. But he never talked about guns. 
as such, even though he was the military. Switch legs. So I asked him, did you have your gun? He said, no. So I said, what did you plan to do? This is what a 20 plus year veteran of the military decided to do. Mind you, five foot nothing, handlebar mustache. <laughs> Don't quit. His grand plan was to take a crowbar from his toolkit to put the deer out of his misery. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to quick feet. Story's ending, I promise. So he gets his crowbar. By the time he gets over to the deer, the deer is passed out from exertion. So he places his hand on the deer's neck. He reaches back to begin to club the deer. When he gets high up, the deer comes to, sees a man with a crowbar above his head. The deer bites Tim's arm. So now Tim is trying to get the deer off his arm. The deer is biting him. He's hitting his arm and the deer with the crowbar. Moral of the story, if you don't have a gun in your car and you see a deer on the edge of death, don't use a crowbar to put it out of its misery. That's a no-no. So that's why he was an hour 15 minutes late and looked like hell frozen over from his ordeal with that deer. Have a seat. Answer to the muffin question, Lucy Lou. 450 calories. I know. Answer to the popcorn. 150 on the low end. 200 on the high end. Answer to the Hershey. Dark, special dark bar. 200 calories. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Why legs? Reach out. Why legs? Reach out for those toes. How we doing out there? Hello? Did I lose you? Hello? <laughs> Where is everybody? I know. I know. Now, tuck one leg in. Other leg out. Reach for those toes. Happy, happy, joy, joy. As always, questions, comments, complaints, please don't be shy. Same time, same place next Sunday. Otherwise, I will see you Wednesday morning at 9.30. Wednesday morning at 9.30. This starts week number five of push-up. Squat challenge, week number five. That's your body weight in push-ups. That's your body weight in squats. Come on, week five, week five. Who's still doing it? Change his legs. Also, don't forget, put in those topics for conversation. Put in those topics for conversation. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So I will see you soon, savages. Enjoy the sunshine. Woo! Take care. Bye bye.